Hi everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we have another benchmark comparison test. And today it's a three-way test. On the left we have the Apple iPhone 7 Plus. In the middle we have the HTC U Ultra. And on the right we have the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. And we're going to run the 3D Mark Slingshot Extreme test. And let's get these guys all started at the same time, approximately. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so here's the results. We have to say, uh, if you run these things multiple times, uh, sometimes the scores really jump up and down. Uh, but we have seen from all the times we've run the Samsung here, uh, it's consistently around 2,900 to 3,000. Uh, the Snapdragon 821 processor on the HTC U Ultra is not nearly as fast, uh, and for some reason the iPhone is really all over the place. We've had it up to 2500 and then as you can see down to only 1897 here. So uh, it might be that we need to do a reset on this guy. So let's take a look at some of the specific results. And as you can see uh, the graphics score definitely the Samsung was the best. Graphics score of 2200 on the uh, HTC pretty decent and uh, here on the graphics score is 2600 so it was actually pretty good on this one uh, but then the physics score only 9400 whereas here it's 1300 so I guess that's how you end up with an average slightly below here on the iPhone uh, and then the physics test here was way way better 2600 uh, 2200 so almost double here and more than double uh, the score here on the iPhone. So there you have it. That's a comparison of these three. Uh, definitely this is the newest one and it gives you the best performance. This one's actually pretty decent. And then Apple's nine month old iPhone 7 Plus has some catching up to do in the new refresh. So there you have it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you'd like to see any other matchups, please let us know. And be sure to check out our other benchmarks with these phones and many others here on Howtex. Bye. Nice uh, 12 megapixel back facing camera, LEDs, obviously proximity sensor. Uh, on the back we have actually this I believe is one of the microphone holes.